Hello Z-Bird, welcome back to Steam World Quest. Today we are heading into chapter eight, a quest for knowledge. Our gang enters the academic grounds in search of knowledge. Of course, we got into the, the uh, what's it called? The college last episode. Chapter eight, a quest for knowledge. Yes, indeed. Okay, let's get started. And we also met those two weird characters at the beginning of last episode. Hopefully we'll run into them soon too. And here we are, can we just leave? No, we cannot just leave. It's funny, cause it, it's, I think the merchant was just outside the gate before, and I guess she's just sort of moved with us. She's right here now. Isn't that funny? Hi, uh, so let's see what cards we can grab. It looks like there's some new stuff. We got the Element Ward. It raises all allies fire, frost, and storm defenses. Interesting. We also have um, Team Repair heals all allies. Ooh. Okay. I like that. Um, We can afford it. So I think I'm gonna get it. Yeah, let's confirm this one. And let's see what uh, Auric has. Wind Call, deals storm damage to one foe. Huh. Okay. Oh, actually, that's not a gear. I'm tempted to take that then. Confirm, I'm making it. Very cool. We can also upgrade cards, whatever ones we have the resources to. Hmm. The, qu the question is, do I have one that's gonna be good? Lycut would actually be a big deal. Let's do Lycut. I mean, it ups it by only five damage, though. I mean, I guess it stacks up a lot over time. We'll try it. I mean, I would definitely like to do Cyclone Slash at some point, but we still don't have the Gold Lotus. I'm sure that'll just take some time. And does she have any kind of weapons? No. Has seemingly new stuff like Meteor Fragment, but I don't know. Anyways, there's that. Let me take a look at our cards then. Because we have new cards for Auric, and now we have new cards for uh, Galio. So where is that at? Uh, team Repair. I'm gonna put that over, of course, honestly, I think, Mend. Or maybe Regeneration? I don't know, hard to say. I think that we did the right move there, though. I mean, if I could do... Now, that should be good. Huh, we'll leave it like that for now. I might even, when it comes to Active Party, do that again. I mean, or I could do, this would be tough though. Like that's sort of tough to work with. I feel like that's a bit more workable, but we'd have to change around the decks a little bit. I wanna try the new cards though. So I think we're gonna do this. Um, let's move back over to Auric. We have Fascination, but I don't think we need healing too much. But at the same time, like this heals all allies for what? 110% magic? This 50, but does also regeneration. Hmm. Hard to say. I mean, maybe that would be better. I wouldn't mind doing, or maybe just get rid of that and just do wind call. I feel like that wouldn't be that bad of an idea. Yeah, because now we have two of them. Yep. Okay, that could work. Let's try that out. Let's get going and head into the college and see what's happening. I mean, we might not even fight anybody. I'm not really sure. Whoa, we can beat up books for money? That sounds amazing. Surprised that Copernicus not more upset about that. It's locked. I think we need something to open it. Hmm, okay. Probably a key. I right, the guess. So let's go ahead and save and heal. All that kind of great stuff. And let's move to the right. If we see any books, we're gonna beat them up for sure. What's happening out here? Whoa, it's sort of a, a gap. Is there supposed to be a bridge here? Or maybe it's done by magic. Who knows? Looks like the bricklayer took an extended lunch break. Staring into an unexpected abyss, our heroes measured the distance, stretched their legs and prepared to... We're not going to jump. This is a regular campus safety measure. The groundskeeper's wandering eye, as it's called, I see, so the bridge is there, but only if you take the right measures? Well, it's in the name, really. We need to find the actual eye. I believe they keep it in the gate tower. Huh, oh no. 
Who are you? Commoners! Omega Th Theta? I don't know. Uh, but the headmistress said our gate was unbreachable. Whoa there, first of all, what's with the snooty tone? And second, what do you mean by headmistress? My lips are sealed, but taking care of you will most certainly get me on our good side, commoner. That's just rude. Whoa, who is that guy? I don't know, but he looks fiery. Um, so how do we wanna do this? I'm thinking that first off, we can cycle through some of this stuff. Okay, we got wind call, that'd be cool. Let's actually take a look at these guys out. What is your weakness? So you're weak against fire, strong against frost, and weak against dark. You are sort of kind of the opposite. Strong against fire, weak against frost. So, for right now, we can try something like this, earn up a lot of cogs, and also get the rain of blades, that could be good. I wanna try to beat this guy up as much as we can. I guess this is sort of kind of like a mini boss. We'll have to see how many of these guys we run into to really know if that's the case or not. Okay, so, hmm. We could do this, and also that, and then maybe cycle through that and get another shield up. That would be good. Let's put on us, there we go. I don't know if it was worth it putting a poison on you, actually. You're almost down for the count already. Right, we get water jet. I mean, the poison might be able to finish you off then. That'd be great. Yep, there we go, see ya. He just faints. Let's do focus and brain freeze and there we go. That might work. And we could do our other moves pretty soon at this rate. Wow, that was 251 damage. That hurts. Okay, here we go. So let's just do Cyclone Slash to finish him off, I think. It should work. Yeah, there we go. They weren't too bad. All right, well, there we go, we got it done. So, level 19, 19, and 18. Almost another level up for Orc then. We get some scroll fragments and some foul liquid. What was that all about? That was a sharp reminder of why I fell out of love with this place. Elitistic brats flooded campus, affected the mood, and smeared the school's reputation among the commoners, villagers. Hey, look at that, looks like that brat, brat Drop something. Aha, uh -huh, maybe it's the key to that door we passed? That would seem not only possible, but probable. It's just like, it's so cool, because Orc seems a lot more like, I guess like aged and wise, wiser than they are. And he just sort of seems to be there to help, but there not to intervene too much. It's, it's just, I like him a lot, he's cool. The old Dean always boasted that he'd run things until pigs flew straight and started crashing into his petunias. So I'd really like to find out more about this new headmistress. Hmm. Okay, let's find what we need. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> she sort of cringed a little. Okay, what's going on over here? Uh, first off, there's like stuff I can break before I fight one of these bombs. All right, whatever, let's fight you. Oh, and we got some slimes. So is this bomb a little bit different than the ones we're used to? Maybe, because one thing, we got the Ecotelian Glows. So they're weak to electricity. And you're weak to frost still. Okay, that's all I needed to know. We're going at you then. Because like the other guys, like they're weak to storm or electricity. We can do that now with, uh, with Auric. Hmm. Let's do this just to get ourselves set up and then we can do a Thunder Wave. But then I really need to start landing as much frost damage as I possibly can on that bomb. Uh, spider thing. You're gonna harden your shell, you guys are gonna throw a sludge, but isn't that big of a deal if we have shield? Okay. So let's for right now, get rid of Tinkerer, get rid of Lie Cut. Okay, they really wanna give us a lot of that. Oh, that is not what I wanted. All right, well, if I had to focus on something, I guess I could do this. Boom. And we got Wind Call. Yep, they are weak to it, so that's pretty cool. Oh boy. There we go, now we get cold feet, but still not everything I'm looking for. There we go, come on, one more. Ah, oh well, that's still pretty good. And then we'll do shield on Galio himself. Cause I'm just, I really gotta start focusing on that bomb now. Why'd I do it on him then? I'm a dingus, I didn't mean to do that. Cause they're gonna, he's gonna just turn around and explode soon, that's gonna be a big problem. We need to focus all in on him then. Uh, do that. 
We got Cyclone Slash again. I mean, I would like to do this. The start for three turns. This just generates two more. So I'm gonna do that and we're gonna do this and see how that goes. Because that will do 251 damage. If we did that before, he'd basically be done now. Oh, that was just enough to get rid of him. Thank goodness. Now I don't have to worry about it as much. Okay, these two shouldn't be as bad. Um, I'm thinking we could do that. And then maybe if we could, oh, do a Mount of Barrier. There we go, we got a change, now we can do the electric damage. And then hopefully Auric will have some new cards next round. There we go. And, nice. They're gonna Moisturize, that's fine. As long as they're not attacking us, it's not that big of a deal. Hmm. Yeah, I wanna get rid of Raging Demon. Not exactly what I was looking for. Huh. Maybe I could just focus on this for now then. I mean, it's not perfect, but if I can just earn up some gears for now, that's pretty important to do. There we go. All right, we should be fine. Oh boy, okay, so this could work. If I go like this, go like that, and then go like this, this should get rid of at least one of them. All right, there's some good damage to him, and then, oh, nice. Okay, so now we're just gonna focus all in on the other guy, and that should be fine. Nice. I'm gonna do a slime sword, and we could just do another lie cut. I don't know if we should, though. Like, we could do this. It might be better. Just keep working him down. Got the Tinkerer on there. He's poison, he has negative, or you know, at least reduced damage even if he heals himself. We're doing pretty nice. I'm gonna get rid of this. Nice, okay, we should be fine. I mean, obviously it's not crazy amount of damage, but that does extra just because of the, oh, it's so good. Okay, well we made it work. Good job, everybody. And that's gonna be level 19 for Auric. Very proud. Got plus 90 health for that one. Get some extra uh, materials. And let's check this out. Got some extra coins. Okay, nothing I can do with this pile of stuff. And we're good to keep moving. So we can go up there, but we can also destroy that. And destroy this. Got some 20 coins out of one of them, so that's good. And now there's seemingly more than one way to go. What is this? Oh, Stone Lion. Makes one foe flinch. Oh, so this is for Auric, I think. Uh, switches to the Kamainu mask. Kamainu? I think Kamainu. Uh, which raises all of Auric's defenses by one grade each. That could be good. What else can we do around here? Can I? Weird. Um, there might be another way to get in there. Uh, for right now. What is this? Is this the eye? It might be. Aha, what do we have here? A navigator prism? Looks like the real deal too. Many strange things with a fancy names around here. This will be very useful. Now we can use the Wayfarer's Gates. They're so, sort of on-campus teleportation devices. They look like big iron discs with engravings on them. When activated, they light up, so we saw one before. I believe I saw something similar a short while ago. Indeed. He's always orc with the tips and everything, dudes. Oh, he's just cool. Okay, nothing else going on around here, so we're gonna go back through here and go through this where it will bring us. I have no clue. Apparently over here. This sounds like, seems like some kind of basement. Like yeah, the dungeons almost. All right, boom, got him before he could get us. That's good. Okay. So let's go all in with focusing on you. And hopefully that works. Nice, and we'll be able to do the electricity to the other two, just like that. And they're already paralyzed, which is really good for us. I mean, obviously they didn't really get too much going on there, but it could have been. So I feel like I should do regeneration so we can help Auric out a little bit here, because he seems a bit more hurt than everybody else. So I probably should have put that armor on Auric. Oh well. Okay, you're paralyzed, can you be? Yes, you are, awesome. Okay, now we just don't, don't have to worry about it as much. 
Oh, here we go. So we could do wind call, lie cut, and maybe actually, well actually that should be fine. If we do this and we do two lie cuts on him, it might be, I should be enough to take him out. If not, the special will be. The extra, oh actually yeah, that did not do as much as I was hoping. Oh, it didn't land on one at all. Come on, I know it says it's about to pop. We gotta get him next round. We're gonna be in big trouble. Okay, so I don't need more than one cycle on Slash. I think we'll just do that. And we'll do that. So boom, you're done for. Hurts that guy a little bit. There we go. And now it's just this guy, he's gonna heal up a little bit. That's not a big deal to us. So we want to maybe do something like that. It seems to be working. Come on, there we go. Nice, now he's paralyzed, come on. Yeah, there we go, awesome. So let me cycle through some stuff here. That's not too bad actually, we can make that work. I can go like this, that, and that. And hopefully that's enough to take him down. It's gonna be pretty close. There it is, we got him. Very cool. All righty, we did it. And there is something in the background there shining. I don't know what that'll be, but we'll find out sooner or later. Almost level 20 for Copernica, that's cool. Okay, well, if I can't quite go down there yet, that's fine. I just need to keep exploring. Looks like there's another teleporter then. Anything else of interest? Guess not. Let's go through. And now I think we're on the other side of everything now. I get it. So, is there... And not really too much over here except for a staircase to go up. Whoa, what in the world is this guy? Get him out of here. He's looking very fiery. So this guy's new. We gotta check out his stats then. And they're already taking 100 damage. So of course they're super duper weak to frost. So this is where Copernica comes to shine. Let's get rid of some stuff here so we can get something Copernica related or not. Wow, okay, I was sort of silly. Uh. I don't know if I should just do something with, I guess I should, we'll do this. Do Fixer, do Steam Punch, oh that hurt him now. Gotta be careful, it's gonna burn us out. There we go, he's super weak to that one. The fire certainly hurts. Okay, come on now. Okay, this is, this is workable. I wanna do that, put a barrier on you, and do Creeping Cold, and this should do a ton of damage on you. So focus, mana barrier, Creeping Cold. Oh, 310? 282 to him. Nice, oh now you're paralyzed, so you're not moving. You're going to move, but it's not that big of a deal. So now we can do cold feet. Ah, oh, I was hoping for one more Copernica move, but whatever. Uh, we'll just do shield. It's something. And they're already weak to frost, so it's like it doesn't really change too much there. That's sort of the silly part. I don't know why we're not getting it when we could really be getting it right now. Okay, Brain Freeze will certainly help, but come on now. I'll take Mana Barrier. Come on, Ugh, really? Why not? We'll do that, because that's sort of a ranged move anyways. Come on, it's ridiculous. Okay, he's paralyzed. Can his friend be paralyzed? He can't, cackling laughter, so he's confused. Not a big deal. Okay, we will definitely win with this. And I still couldn't get anything else. Oh well, if we need it, we could do team repair, just to heal everybody up before this ends. There we go, you guys are down. Oh, I didn't even get to. I probably should've done the team repair first then. Whatever, we'll get a level 20 for Copernica and Leo. Very cool, 68 gold and some extra gear, or extra materials and stuff. Okay, not too much more going on around here except for staircase to go up and a treasure chest. It has smolder, lowers all foes' fire defense by one grade for three turns. That could certainly be interesting if we use some more fire type moves, or we could synergize that with uh, Copernica and her fire moves. And this must be the um, groundkeeper's wandering eye? Heck of an eye to wander off like that, poor guy. This is just what we need to activate the bridge. Okay, so there we go. And what else is going on around here? We got this to beat up, and we're good to go through. 
Hmm. So we should be able to go past this bridge now. If we activate it somehow with the eye, give faith to what is unseen as you would to what one can touch and look at. Okay, sure. And there we go. Wow, that's fancy. A little creepy to walk by. Okay, that was actually pretty cool. After having used the yucky old eye from the tower, our heroes raced over the bridge. Let's go. Please don't fall off or just like stop existing halfway through. Oh, and that was it. Oh wow, that was really short. That was really, really short. Having bridged the chasm, our per persistent pupils enter the main building of the college. I was expecting more. Not only that, but I don't know where I could have missed something. I thought it was really thorough there, but I guess not. We missed 33% uh, of the rewards. Huh. Well, maybe at some point we can go back for that stuff, but I mean, I don't know. I really would like to go back for it now then. I guess, I don't know. I just wish I could go through, but like right before the end of the chapter, so I don't have to like, re-see all the details of the story and everything. I think we'll be fine. We'll go to uh, chapter nine in act two next episode, but for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of SteamWorld Quest. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra College, showing that you've watched the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.